it is finished to end here and welcome to my fifth episode of the santuario paso a paso tutorial series i know it's been a while I'm very sorry but it is what it is but at least i've been practicing a lot for some stuff for the future and um, i have also made a patron or patron patron site so if you want to support me financially you can now do so in the in the patreon i have the links in the description but it's not only for supporting because just if you want to well you can support if you just want to support and throw money at me i don't, I don't care I'll, I'll, I'll take it <laughs> but but uh it will have uh, a set of videos that will teach you how to learn and practice flamenco techniques with some other nice tips how to get your muscles relaxed and uh, relaxation uh, exercises and uh, dry learning without the guitar and tips and tricks and how to uh, increase your fortitude and and agility on your hands so it will be a great thing it will be a great thing but now we can go into this episode and uh, i hope my practice is paid off and uh, the quality is hopefully a little bit better than before and i'm trying to make it better and better but let's hope you like it and until next time Alrighty, so let's start from the first cycle here and uh, i'm gonna play it through once first <laughs> Break it down. So you have first this kind of part here, it's a, a minor here. You have your index finger in the first fret of the second string here, and your middle finger in the second fret of the third string. Here. And then you have your little finger on the fourth fret of the third string here, and you use your index and thumb to do this. Let's take the first half here. So this, if we count it, count it, it will go one, two, three. So that's one, two, three. One, two, three. <coughs> Sorry. And you do the gold pound the three. This is four, four. Here you do a hammer on here. Four, five. And this hammer on here is the five. So one, two, three, four, five, six. cycle I played twice you can play it once too if you want in the, in the actual song 
but I think it sounds really nice. So why not play it twice? Oh, that rhymes. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then the next cycle. take the first half so that would be here you have this legato here one and then the free free string here one two one two three and then three is you play the fourth fret here and the second string here with the golden. So one, two, three. And then the four, five, six is exactly the same. Four, five, six. And then that will be seven. And here you do a legato. And then play the free string here. Seven, eight, nine. This is nine, ten. This pull off here is ten. It starts the remato. Ten, eleven, twelve. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so one. To the next cycle here, and here you have uh, basically it's uh, a minor chord, and uh, but you don't need to use this here. So I will play it once through. And what happens there? Again, let's take the first half. Uh, you have the chord here and you start with the fifth string and you hammer it to the third fret with your little finger here and then you continue from there with the thumb and here you visit the first fret on the third string with your index Accompany it with the golpe, and then you hammer it back to the second fret with your ring finger here. <clears throat> so that will be one, two, three, one, two, three, and then the four, five, six is you have this chord here, but then you only only have these picked here but you have your ring finger ready to go for the third fret on the fourth string here so sorry so that we four five six and again on the six you do the gulp so that will be the first half one two And the second half. So that would be seven, eight, seven, eight. So you start with this here on the first fret, and then the free fifth one, fifth string, seven, eight, <clears throat> and the hammer on here to the third fret with your ring finger is the eight, seven. on the nine and the nine is actually you visit here 
on the second fret of the fourth string with your middle finger. First, seven, eight, nine, and then it's the remote. So all in all, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then let's go to the last cycle of this episode. It's basically the same, same, well, not the same, but the same thing as the this this cycle here we just did. But a little bit more complicated. So it would go and again we can go first first only the six beats here and that would be here you have your A minor Again, you start the same like before, but you have the full chord here. And then you play, after this hammer on here, you play all these strings accordingly. So that would be. And after this, you play the fifth fret with your middle finger here. And little finger on the fifth fret here. So. so that would be one, two, and then the three is. So first you have it here, and the three is uh, ring finger on the fourth fret, and you, you play, uh, you accompany it with the fourth three string here and then you hammer it to the fifth fret with your little finger and then you play the fourth fret with your middle finger again so, so that would be one two three one two three one two three one Quite a bit happening there on the first three beats. One, two, three. Sorry. So that would be the one, two, three. And then after that, the four, five, six, you take just a basic G major chord and here you play four five so four five is just playing through the strings like this four five and then you leave not, well you don't leave this here actually you can just play four five six and here's the same thing with the middle finger and thumb here. So that's the first half. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then after that, so this would be seven, eight. You have only this chord. F major, seven, eight, nine, and here you play again the fourth, fourth string, and then you hammer it to the first fret here with your index, and play it with the middle finger here, and then the free, free string with your index. So.
this will be the start of the next episode of this series but I want to show you the most eager of you uh, already what's coming up so you can start learning it already and this is the second uh, bit harder legato passage in the song and uh, <clears throat> you remember the first one that was already in the previous videos but this one goes Messed up there a little bit. It's 